zwei Scots, man. That's right, Gordon. Fine Scots, man. We're, we're, we're working on the near end of like Samson for once. Well, Samson has been on Sodor too many times, and Twice Cosmo hasn't seen Sodor a lot, so. The mainland controller and me thought that we would go up to me if Cosmo see the mainland for once. Oh dear, Nick Nahi! And Gordon Puff into his shed. Nami, you may as well have your rest. Thank you, sir. Nami popped in his shed. Now, excuse me, I must go and greet him. Speak of him, there he is. And the fact that was right, the science got him puffing to Nafford Station. His audience saw him puffing in. He was trained from the mainland. Let's go speak to him. Good day, engines. Hector walked away. Oh, the indignity here, Sir Gordon. Later that in the evening, the engines stood still in the church talking when the fine Scotsman popped in. Hello, all. He said. Hello, Scotsman, said Thomas, Edward, Percy, and you, James. Henry was asleep. Brother, God puffed out of his shirt. He was very embarrassed. Scotsman, Scotsman, why they sent you over? You could embarrass me. Scotsman laughed. Now, how come I embarrass you? You're my brother. Oh, my little brother. No, Gordon, we were told not to say that anymore. Yeah. Besides, we were told that we must be nice to each other now. Remember what happened when we had that race? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's right, Gordon. We must learn from our mistakes. Gordon kind of agreed. Anyways, brother, I heard our news about you. Really, Sir Gordon? Yes, I heard about, um, Heard about you with the one nine 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 and Thomas like a few months ago. I heard about you becoming a hero, being mean to the one nine nine Paxson. Oh, I also heard about you forgetting your coaches. This man going cross. Don't remind me of that. It's a going crossly. It was the the by accent. It's got to laugh. Oh, Gordon. Oh. I'm in my good old days, days as Cosman, and becoming the fastest engine ever oh, before my art came along. I had a lovely apple green paint on me like you used that color, but you got rid of that blue. Oh boy, those were the good old days. Scotsman told a lot of his stories. So the engine's over for an hour. Told him about going around the world like what Thomas did. Did gain like cow culture in America, so many things. Gordon got bored. Gordon got bored of this. He didn't want to embarrass himself. All the engines were very impressed. You know him asleep, but it was one engine. He was jealous. That was James. Pa said James. James, how can you go on with two tangles? Um, boat, said Fine Scotsman. Pa, said James. I'm our little friend here, Thomas, from around the world, and he met this orange tank engine called Neil and brought her back to Soda. Oh, really, Thomas, you went around the world? Yes, I did, said Thomas. How come Mal did not run the world, so he's the world's fastest steam engine? Or, or how could Gordon then never run the world? Well, well, how come I never went around the world, said James crossly. Ah, uh, James is popularity. I may be famous, but you guys are very youthful and very cool, actually. Like, popular and stuff. But James was fed up with this. That he put back into his sheds too. Very, very crossly. 
The next morning, everybody woke up. Gordon was stuck in his ship because of what happened. Fine Scott had to take the express. Because Jane wanted to the express, Fine Scott had to do it, so Jane, that was another thing Jane was tired of. Fine Scott had puffed away to go and get the express. Meanwhile, the engine was getting ready when a, when a fast James came out of the sheds. What's up with James? Said Sammy. Oh, poor James of Scotsman, said Edward. Eh, he's always dreaded our engines, said Percy. Agreed to Thomas. At the station, there's two passenger planes playing. The Express for Fine Scotsman. He was going to take them until he, until Gordon's punishment is over. But then, some locals came, and James puffed, up, puffed back down to. James was still jealous of Paul Scarsman. However, you know he's not pointing express, he could pretend the local train was an express. Maybe like a local express train. Said James. The guard boys whistle and a fine scotsman puffed away. See you later, James. <laughs> fine scotsman puffed away. When James got garbage with you, James puffed away as well. You must be trying to be on time like a fine scotsman, said James. <laughs> on the main line, and Fine Scotsman and James are puffing down line being on time. Just then, and Fine Scotsman was taking over James. James tried to speed up, but he knew Fine Scotsman was fast. Just then, a red signal puffed Scotsman and Scotsman stopped. Aha! Huh. See you there, Scotty. I'll be on time. What's that engine on about, sir? Said Fine Scotsman. He didn't know that Jane was jealous of him. At 12 Wolf Station, Hugo was there. He was taking some pastures to the mainland when James puffed in. My own time, Hugo, Hugo, he said. I believe you are, James. You just beat the clock. This makes James happy. Ha! Huh, I can prove that Fine Scotsman now I'm bang on time. Hmm. Just then, Fine Scotsman passed by on the middle track of a Westwood station, zooming with the express. Guys, are James that Fine Scotsman? What's this about? This is James. So here we go. Uh, I'm just a Fine Scotsman, thinking he's the most famous engine around the world. But going around the world, I can grey apple green paint make me sick. He's just, just because Fine Scott was the famous team. Seriously, why is Fine Scott be the famous engine? Because he was the first engine to go up 100 miles per hour, James. That possibly true, did. Well, yeah, he was, but it wasn't recorded, so Fine, that won't make Fine Scottsman first. How come Matt's not much more famous than him? That's very good question, James, said Hugo. Who knows? Maybe the National where you see someone who knows about a lot of politics could tell us. And he'll go rolled away. James was still across the front of and he puffed away to the next station. Later that day, James was heading back now for his local train. He was still by just front of until he saw him pulling the express back to the as well. He thought we'd like to try and be him to the Pull up beside him. <laughs> hello, fine Scotsman, said James. Oh, hello, James, he said. Why are you here? Care to race? Well, um... Well, I forgot! Fine Scotsman didn't want to pump his patches, so he took it nice and easy at a safe fast speed. James was going fast, fast as he could, but Fine Scotsman was catching up to him. Ha, he probably don't know the race. 
and I could win. Then, the rest second part, and James put on his brakes. Oh, come on, he said. My Scotland passed by. This made James cross. He probably knew he was going to be in trouble. Later that evening, James puffed into his hypnotic house, finding Morris Gosman yard and just there. But the fact was there. I am very pleased with James and Morris Gosman's runs today. They both them have been really useful engines, and their and their runs were actually very good today. So, oh, I have a special job, job to ask all of you. There's two special trades that need to be done. One, the first one is a very special goose train. The engines were this, especially James. Now, this goose train must go with the hard work because it's some new materials for the school. Wait, they still haven't built it yet? Oh no, James, says the fat controller. So, it's nothing like that. They just need some new equipment. And so it makes good much more stronger just in case it won't be damaged until there's another storm. Oh, Sir James. And the second special job is there are very important people coming to Sodor. <laughs> they are. Uh, they are some. Some very important inspectors. What they would do is they would check over the railway. They will give us a, a surprise. Surprise at the entrance. That's right, special surprise. So, will anyone like to do the special pasture job? James, James, we saw steams. I would do it, sir. After all, I could get famous for it. Oh. Okay, is there any engine you can do that, that special ghost train thing? I'll do it, sir, so far as Scotsman. I mean, no other engine wants to do it. The engine is very surprised. Even Gordon is surprised by his brother. Wait, you actually wouldn't do it? But someone has to do it, so far as Scotsman. Sorry, but a nice change for me instead of coaches. Yes, I'm always playing coaches. Very well, then. Back controller, I will get, I will get Molly to run. I will get Molly to take care of the express. And the actual went to his office to make the arrangements. James said to himself, speak to himself. This could make me more famous than my Scotsman. I'll make sure they get here on time. And James rolled into the shed. Oh, I'm back to his shed as well. See, it was too bothered for anything else. Next morning, Fire Scott got the ghost train. Special ghost train. James back down to his coach with a very special passion. Train. He had to collect the, the very special people from, from Lucastown Station. Oh, Scottsman, it's a shame to see you pulling some dirty old trucks. This is annoying, Fire Scott, and he's good at his pulling trucks. That's what I'm sorry, to pull it. The garbage was so, so, and disgusting part way to hard work. A few seconds later, the garbage was up, and James sped off to Bickers Town. The signal switched to point, and Scotsman was on the other track, and James the other way. James spread it down the line. Smoke coming out of him. He fell off, huffing and puffing. He soon arrived at Vickers Town, where the very special people were waiting for him. James saw them. They were very important people, of course. He looked at James. A very smart way then, James decided to do a work on one copper chain. This made James happy. James made a turn around the turntable of Vickers Town Sheds. Soon, I'm starting to up at the Harwood Station. Well, after school with materials. 
a young couple and walking around him so I could see him. Look, it's a famous science Scotsman, said the kids. His chair, Scotsman, was bubbling away. Here's your materials, you're welcome. He walked away. Soon enough, the late special guest got pulled on the train and then puffed away. Huff and puff and smoke was coming out of James. However, the problem was the train was so heavy by pulling four coaches. James' face started to turn to red, like his paint. The last thing, Cole, Cole shot him to the heart and he threw him in the wall, but he kept on puffing. Then there was more puffing. By pulling four coaches, he was The train was slowing down. Oh no, said James. Please don't do the same thing what happened years ago. What happened years ago was when James got stuck stuck on on the hill it was because of leaks in the wind. This time it was pulling too many coaches. Now James safe to buy a bus and it was stuck on the hill. Luckily, James driver put on the brakes. James won't move. Same thing with God. He also put the coach just breaks on as well, so it doesn't move. Great, said James finally. We'll be late for the sun. That's all right, said the people. But we always have some pre game bother there. Yeah, I don't think there's anything really strong enough. James knew, knew the very important passages were very were correct. <sighs> I'm not strong enough. I was too jealous of Brian Scotsman. Brian Scotsman, they said. Yes, he's on Sodo, helping us out because my, my friend Gore is stuck in the shed for what? God's coaches. And he didn't listen to me. And Henry in the shed because the guy's fine tipper, so he needs our soup. Oh. Did someone said my name to the voice? It was fine Scotsman pulling up beside side James in the train. Oh my goodness, said the very important pastor. It's fine Scotsman, the famous engine. Oh, please don't say that. James was very surprised. I thought you do want to be famous. What do you mean? All those things that you said. Fine Scotsman laughed. Oh, let's tell you my story, said, said fine Scotsman. Is that why you were acting so real when we were pulling our train? Yes, yeah, said James. I was very jealous of you. Do all that stuff. Why is Gus this? James, let me tell you this story. I am glad I don't like him. But sometimes I really don't like being famous. You don't? said James. Not really. It's just being famous so hard for me. And I, and I can't believe I'm the worst most famous engine, but it's but I honestly don't mind what I am. It usually don't matter what you are, James. You're all famous, all popular, or or no one likes you. That doesn't stop you becoming a really useful animal. So let nothing stop you. Are you sure? I'm sure. Sure. Just because I'm famous doesn't mean famous doesn't stop me. Sometimes I don't like being famous. But I know that a lot of people do like me and I must go on strong with my life. You do so well, James. But because you're not famous, doesn't mean you can't can't work. You must work hard, James. And a lot of people do like you, including your friends. James knew Scotsman was in. You like Scotsman. And famous doesn't matter. Now come on, said Scotsman. Let's get this train to Napford. You be able for this. There's almost four Cohen two tenders, I believe so. Boy Scotsman and got ready to pop up James. This ain't anything out of the Spencer, you know your cousin. Oh yes, I heard about this. My brother Gordon put them all the way. Yes, he did. Oh, what a very clever engine. The Scotsman and poor James and the train all the way to Napa Station. It was hard work. You know James was sick he tried to give some steam up. 
Fine. It's going to go in guns that we move with strength and steel. Get this trained now. Good. At last, they arrived at Napoli, safe and sound. You also mean so to hold up the shirts. Then they gave a speech. We are proud of you here today. To so what fun will I say? One by the top and pat himself, we all are walking in there. Even though some ain't somewhere we know they these are what they steam. But so the last double step. So the messenger did one day, but so do you esteem himself. I bow to Crow as I am for the Lord Railways give the Falcon so top of my heart to the Falcon controller. This award becoming a hard working controller to all of his engines. All the engines cheered. With the flat controller, flat controller smiled. He knew his father, grandfather, great great grandfather, and all, and everyone else would be proud of him. But what he has become. The next day, the very important visitors was decided to stay over for one night. The next day, it was time for his cousin to head back to the mainland. He was taking the visitors with him. Well, and James and um. Happy I have some time on Sogo, so it's time for me to leave. Yes, it's for the fact, so it is. His cosmos will go with James, and James will go with Scotsman. When James gave a wink, Scotsman knew that James was saying sorry. Scotsman winked back, saying, Okay. After that, James and Scotsman became good friends with each other. And with a two tenor thing, everyone. Everyone cheered and couldn't all the engine blew the whistle as they watched the famous engine popping to the mainland. One week later, to which Mike took over from the express, then the day after James took over, but Gordon and Henry soon came back to work after Henry had his one week rest and Gordon having his punishment. Two engines are now back in service. But what about James? Well, James had got a chance for the Express. But James learned some few things from Scotsman that famous or anything else just won't stop him from coming on the his time. And that's what James has been doing all these years. But James is glad to have a friend like Scotsman. And he's glad to have a friend who is a very very useful, but of course, the world's famous engine.